birthday, Mr. Adult Man. Oh, Mom. Ugh, gross. What was Dad like? His beard was scratchy. He had a goofy laugh. I wish I'd met him. I have something for you from your dad. It's a wizard staff. I wrote this spell so I could see for myself who my boys grew up to be. This spell brings him back. Back like back to life? She wanted to meet you more than anything. Holy tooth of Zadar! How did you... I don't know! It just started! Hang on! One thing I really liked about this movie is how it kind of shines a light on people who may not be our parents, but they still, you know, shaped us and helped us grow to who we are today. Mm -hmm. Besides your parents, is there anyone else you would say has helped you become who you are today? Um, I would have to say, I, I relate to that in the film as well because I have a very good relationship with my sister. Uh -huh. um, I mean, we used to fight all the time when we were little and that happens, but I was, uh, I'm just really happy that nowadays I have a very good relationship with her and I know that I can count on her for whatever I need. I always, she's always on the other end of the phone if I need to. So yeah, I value our relationship very much. Dad? Ah! Don't stop, Bart! Dad, you are in your house. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. We've only got 24 hours to bring back the rest of Dad. We're going on a quest. Barley and Ian are given the chance to uh, see their dad, bring him back for 24 hours. As a set designer, if you were able to bring, um, be a part of another film's set and world for 24 hours, which film's world would you want to be a part of? A world that I would love to visit? Yeah. Wow. From another film. I can, um, maybe I can think of two films. Okay. Uh, and and I, I think I would be interested in visiting films where the world building is really bizarre uh -huh. um, and, and th that I would love to, to visit. I think one of them would be an animated film called Spirited Away. Yeah, yeah. I really like that film. And uh -huh. I think the, the, the sets in that film are, are, are a character. And you almost feel like you understand and could navigate that set. So I would say probably that one. Yeah. And maybe something like the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not just go there and, and see, uh, see it in all its glory and color and stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's a very colorful film. Any characters you want to meet in that one? Uh, they're all so intriguing, <laughs> like any of them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so also, in the movie, Ian, he's more of the, the shy, uh, timid type character, and then Barley is more laid back and yeah. fearless. Who would you say you most related to when you were younger? Um, I think I'd be like somewhere in between. Ah, it's a hard question. Um, but yeah, you know, there are I think maybe Ian a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like kept to myself a little bit, uh, but but yeah, I know there, there's qualities about Barley that I also recognize, like being um, just a little carefree as well. Yeah. 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 All quests start with the Manticore, the fearless adventurer. You mean Corey? She's over there. Quick, somebody help me! These Griffin Nuggets were supposed to go out minutes ago. That's the Manticore. You guys are in trouble big time. Get in the vehicle. I'm escorting you home. I'm giving you to the count of three. Uh, okay. Wait, what are you doing? I don't know. Ah, son of a... I'm looking for my sons. Oh, they went on a quest. But don't worry, I told them about the map. I told them about the gym. I told them about the curse. <gasps> I forgot to tell them about the curse. The what? <laughs> Your boys are in grave danger. I would say another prominent setting in this movie was Barley's van. Yeah. Um, it's very valuable to him, and yeah. we can see that it means a lot. Obviously, he's named it Guinevere. For you, what is your most valuable setting? What do you most enjoy being in? Uh, being in? Yeah. Uh, I, when, when I was younger, not, and it's no longer the case, but I did yeah, I used to have a car that I really liked. It took me everywhere. It was a little bit like Guinevere, where it got me uh, in, in trouble in a couple of <laughs> in a couple of moments. I have to push it around sometimes, but but yeah, it was a, it was a great like little like Chevrolet uh -huh. like Swift car. So so yeah, I, I mean it had its problems, but it took me anywhere. So I really like liked it. How are your boys doing a crisis? Oh no, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Not great. <laughs> I can't do it. We're not gonna see you, Dad. You can do this. I believe in you. This film is just. 
uh, just a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I think it's uh, it's a, what I always loved about it is just like the mix of genres here, and it, it felt really special in the way that it mixes different things. So it's like a road movie, but at the same time it's a buddy movie. It's about brothers. It has fantasy elements. There's a lot of heart to it. So I think the the thing that's special about it is just how it mixes those different c types of movies in, movies into one in a very like unexpected way. Mm -hmm. So you'll get a lot of the entertainment out of that. A lot of the comedy plays really well. And you know, they uh, do a good job at, at, at putting a lot of heart and emotion in there as well. So uh, I just think it's exciting the way it, it can merge all of these things together. My gut knows where to go, don't you, boy? Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm on my way, boys. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs>